am happy. <laughs> I don't know a lot about anime, but I swear about the anime. But I swear that one time I snuck into Victoria's room for Dana's sake. I saw some dorky Naruto on her desk. I hope she likes this one. I ran out of the store, just in time to see Victoria exit. Jamming the gift into my bag, I crossed the street to meet up with her again. Almost thought you bailed on me. I did for a second, and then I decided to come back. <laughs> so I decided you still have the keys, so it was pretty stupid of me to try to run away. <laughs> You kinda have- oh, kinda my ride home, Victoria. You can't exactly ride and leave. <laughs> Victoria's irritated expression caves in, and I breathe easy. She hasn't noticed I've pickpocketed her of the keys yet. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach also grumbles again, surprising us both. I am hungry. Indistinctly, I blush again, and I find myself grinning sheepishly in her direction at the shocked little glance she's giving me. How- Dare you grumble in my presence? <laughs> Never once has anyone rumbled in my presence. <laughs> the audacity, the atrocity one can commit. <laughs> I never even thought that anyone could be worse than Hitler, but today you have proven that you are worse than Adolf Hitler. <laughs> in my 84 years of life. <laughs> it's been 84 years since I've met anyone as bad as you. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm not having fun with you all making me feel awkward by buying me things. But I'm totally ready to nosh on something. Where do you want to eat? You want me to pick? Ah, uh, I would love to pick. I wish they actually let us pick. Oops, that must have come out more shocked than I thought. Victoria's full of surprise day, so I can't help it. I wouldn't be asking if I didn't. And just scowls at me lightly and crosses her arm. Bags shifting on them. I feel worse now that I look at the bags. <laughs> just pick already, won't you? There's something about the way she says that that leaves me feeling more. <laughs> just pick already. Oh, that makes me feel so warm inside. She's, she cares so much about my well-being. <laughs> and I rub my own arm nervously, leaning back on my heels. Well, I know this place down the block. They make some pretty cool crepes. And they have hot men. Hot shirtless men. Cookie you said that last time. I know, but every time I think of crepes now, that's what I think of. Please, contain yourself. Keep it in your pants. Shirtless men making crepes. Makes crepes for me, Poppy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Innuendo. <laughs> you discovered my other fetish. Whoa. <laughs> Victoria braces her lips together <laughs> and then nods slowly. <laughs> uh huh. Fine, whatever. Lead the way. For the first time this morning, I do. <laughs> Mark chain it off. Somehow we ended up here right now. By the so time Victoria pulls into the Blackwell parking lot, it's already nighttime. Which means we spent pretty much the whole day together. It's actually pretty weird. I mean, it's not every day you get to hang out with the Queen Bee of Blackwell. With absolutely no problems or anything. I actually had a really nice time. Shopping with Victoria was still pretty grueling on my poor heart and my wallet, but aside from Victoria's gift, it's not like I bought anything pricey. Or anything at all, actually. Anime figures are like 50 bucks, bro. Victoria made sure of that. Just thinking about it makes me feel a little off, but not in a bad way. Kind of in a really confused way, or really worried, mostly for Victoria's health. She wouldn't normally shop for a beat-down hipster, would she? But the more time I spend with her, the more I see she's not as terrible as she fronts. As she parks the car, I peer over at her. She's tapping her nails against the steering wheel, seeming a little distracted. Or maybe not really distracted, just more like, lost in her thoughts. Maybe she's thinking along the same lines I am. For once, we might be on the same page. No, really, we might be, because now that I'm listening to whatever's coming out of the radio... So what are you thinking about, Space Cadet? I mean, is that... Is that Sid Matters? I still don't know what that is. 
you actually listen to them? <laughs> you and your hipster ways, Tyke. <laughs> I, okay, you may know the hipster music, but I know the hipster movies. <laughs> ah, who's never watched Donnie Darko? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. You haven't even- Oh my god. You haven't even watched the Miyazaki films. You hurt my soul. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, you explained to me last time, they're those, the peeps. The peeps that do the music. <sighs> I was like, why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> Victoria straightens a little in her seat, <laughs> glancing over at me. So she was distracted. Nothing, just surprised you listen to that, because you're usually culturalist and, you know, depraved. And listen to Whoa. crappy party music, because I specifically said earlier, crappy Insulting. party music. <laughs> I'm just saying, she, I thought it was mean earlier when she was just like, man, she listened to fucking crappy party music, and she keeps stating crappy party music. So crappy. Whoa. <laughs> like, man, for someone that doesn't want to be judged so much, you're awfully judgy. <laughs> Maybe that's a genre, crappy party music. <laughs> it's just played on, like, symbols. <laughs> Someone jumps in with a kazoo. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> good song, good song. <laughs> What is this song even doing? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> yes, exactly how it works. Aren't they a little hipster for you? I'm such a hipster. <laughs> Can't help but take the opportunity to tease her. It feels right. Even if Victoria could probably tear into me again at any second. Victoria again. stares at me and then huffs. Watch yourself, Max. I am! I've got a rocking body that you just can't wait to take a hold of! Um. Oh, snap! <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> not wrong, but you're a little forward here. <laughs> it's a little bit too forward for me, Lanky. Touch me, Poppy! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm just saying, I listen to it, and you know, if I listen to it, it must be hipster. At least according to you, and all your other Vortex Club bitches. You mean friends? I mean bitches. <laughs> sure, Victoria. Sure. Victoria narrows her eyes. It's always fun to rile Victoria up. She gets super defensive, fishing for the best insults. Well, usually. Lately, I feel like she's really been toning it down. She's like, get the fuck out of my car. First of all, you're in my car, so behave first, yourself. First of all, <laughs> you ignored my picture of a cat, my cat in a Santa outfit, so fuck you. <laughs> first of all, you're not kind of a hipster, you are one. Don't compare me to a spectacle like you. Secondly, the door's open, you know. Feel free to get out, because it's not like I'm keeping you trapped in here. That's true, but I can't really go yet. Not until I give her this present. I know, I just... I, uh, was in your room the other day, and I noticed you're like, damn. <laughs> I have a really good reason for not leaving yet. Unless you're kicking me out. Get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> Victoria furrows her brows and then turns to me. Interested. Mm. I'm actually not. So is that an invitation to stay? No, it's not. I rub at the back of my neck. For some reason, the question makes me nervous. It's probably just because I still have to give her her gift. I don't even know if she's going to actually like it. Victoria stares at me and then rolls her head to the side. I guess. 
But before I have to deal with whatever nonsense you're going to come up with, Max, let me at least get a little comfortable. I don't entirely understand what she means by that until she leans forward, pressing down on some button in her car. <laughs> I breathe out in a half-surprised exhale as the roof of Victoria's car literally starts sliding back, exposing the night sky to us alongside the gleam of the parking lot lights. No. I crane my neck back to watch the rest of the convertible ceiling roll back, feeling almost stupid that I didn't notice it before. Of course, Victoria would have something super fancy like this. Super swanky. <laughs> so swanky. So swag. It stops with a click, and I blink a few times. Shaking my head, I look back to Victoria. I don't know when she got them out, but now she's holding a carton of cigarettes, hand halfway down to pick at one. Don't sound so surprised. Sorry, he just kind of caught me off guard. I still find that she's, this is very unobservant of her. <laughs> she's not very observant, though. <laughs> For a photographer, she's not very observant. <laughs> Victoria gives me a small laugh, a half scoff. Most people are. All she does is light up her cigarette, taking a long drag off of it. Victoria reaches down next to her and, oh, she's bringing the seat back just so she can lay down. She looks so comfortable, it's almost surprising, and I'm left wondering if I should do the same or not. If you're going to stay, don't just sit there like a dork. She gestures to my seat, and I carefully follow suit, my hands fumbling with to find the lever to push the seat back. Before I can get comfortable, though, she clears her throat. And just make sure no one's coming or something. What? You can't be seen with me? She smirks. smirks. Maybe. Haha, <laughs> snap. I roll my eyes, but I'm not too offended. Leaning up on my elbow, I check for any familiar figures in the surrounding area. It's just us. I don't see anyone out there, not even one of the security guards, which is probably for the best. I don't exactly need David grilling me about this. What are you so concerned about? Am I too ugly for you to be near? Is that it? Am I not pretty enough for your friends? <laughs> It's not like this is a date or anything. It is a date. I say it before I can stop myself, but I instantly feel my face heat up. Okay, I did not mean for that to slip out at all. Apparently Victoria didn't either because she actually coughs for a second. <laughs> she puts uh, on her cigarette. I want to check if she's alright, but I'm too embarrassed to look in her direction. <laughs> um, no. You wish. You wish, a match. <laughs> There's this hoarse quality to her voice and she clears her throat. The last thing I want is you trying to seduce me with your hot body! I shrug, trying to offset my mistake. Victoria grumbles in response. After I'm confident that no one is smelling around, I settle back down against the leather seat, flopping onto my back. I don't think that happened last time. The whole, uh, this isn't a date. Yeah, I don't the think that happened. I don't remember that either. The ghost is totally clear! Victoria hums with approval. Since I've got nowhere to put my hands, I rest them both on her face, staring <laughs> up blankly at the sky. See, that's what I was thinking on her lap, but that works too. <laughs> a little more forward. <laughs> so, are you going to let me in on whatever you're planning? Well... I stiffened up slightly, biting my lip with a reminder of the gift in my bag. Well, if you haven't noticed where my hands are placed... <laughs> Dude, well, if you haven't noticed, I've got my hands on your face, and uh... <laughs> You know. You know. You know. <laughs> Just you, so you know. You wanna... You know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to actually... Remember! Because you said it two seconds ago, Max. <laughs> and also, your hands are on her face, and you said that, like, five times. You know. So, you know. You know. You know. Are you kidding me? My memory isn't that awful. Not like you, Max. I slide one of my hands off of my off of her face and over to my bag, shrugging weakly. Yeah, but my gift probably is. The thought is kind of depressing, but Victoria is watching me warily, eyes darting down to my bag. She obviously thinks I have a bomb. Okay, it's not a bomb, is it? Very funny, Victoria. Of course it's a bomb. I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> The people of Blackwell will thank me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I will go down tonight as a martyr, as a hero, <laughs> as a wonderful person. If only I could have gotten that asshole with you. 
But we're good. Victoria doesn't, um, Victoria doesn't ease up at all. Hey! Oh, wait! Hey! <laughs> hey! Victoria doesn't ease up at all, still watching me intently. She even turns to face me, leaning on her elbow and everything. In spite of myself, I smile a little at the sight. So, spit it out already. I guess it's now or never. Not that I really have a choice. Really, when we were shopping, you bought me that outfit, and that felt bad. Yeah. Immediately, Victoria looks a little peeved. Are you going to bring this up again? I already told you. So, I bought you a it's... hipster outfit! <laughs> <laughs> so, I bought you an outfit that I like, and then we can both wear each other's outfits! I thought it'd be cool. <laughs> can you actually let me finish? No. Oh, I cannot. I guess I'll go now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I want a bad moment. end. <laughs> bad end. <laughs> <laughs> I cut her off before she can tell me how to forget. Tell me to forget about it, and she narrows her eyes, taking a long drag with no further comment. I got you something. Present you time. did what? Present time. Present time. Open the box and see what's inside. Victoria seems like she's at a loss for words, especially after that mantra. For just a second. <laughs> Even after I specifically told you, you didn't have to worry about paying me back. All I can do is shrug my shoulders, fingering the strap on my bag anxiously. I want to watch Blue's birthday video now. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's from... You wouldn't understand. You're too young. <laughs> I just no, wanna... no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll leave you I know what Blue's Clues is. I just didn't expect you to, like, bring it up <laughs> in the middle of a dating simulator about Life is Strange. It's from Blue... It's from the, the Blue's birthday <laughs> movie or whatever. The present time thing. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> and me and Nana used to say it all the time after that. Oh, I've got a headache. <laughs> oh, it's your fault. Oh. <laughs> uh, you want to watch this big birthday bash? No! This? <laughs> I don't! But thank you for the offer. <laughs> she gets her pet turtle on that one. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks. I didn't really expect that. <laughs> it was a really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really nice gesture. It's not like I got you anything big. Just a little something. Just like a $50 figurine. No, nothing special. Victoria averts her gaze, covering her mouth with her hand. Alright, fine. What is it? It's now or never, Max. You can do this. It's just Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> I sit up a little to reach into my camera bag. And pull out that dorky figurine I managed to find earlier, all neat and boxed up. I seriously have no clue where it's even from. But all I know is that the girl in the box looks pretty tough, wearing a leather jacket and holding some sort of pistol, I think? Looks pretty futuristic. Either way, I hand it over, and Victoria's gone impressively silent. Does this figure also have purple hair? I'm just curious. I don't know. Because if it is, it's the main character from Ghost in the Shell. I don't know. Victoria? Do you hear it? I knew what she'd hear it. That... Where did you get that? <laughs> I gotta have another. There's this odd urgency in her tone, and she takes it from my hand so quickly I jump a little. The stars? She cuts her off right there, and <laughs> starts at the car and starts driving back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Max, we're gonna break and enter into this store, and uh, we're gonna get the rest of the figurines, because I need all of them. <laughs> she just leaves money on the counter. The stores. I saw it, and I thought you liked this kind of stuff, so... Wait, excuse me? You thought I liked this kind of stuff? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah! Uh-oh, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to know about this. Did Taylor, like, open her huge mouth or something? <laughs> Poor Taylor, she's dead. <laughs> Victoria questions, turning the box around in her hand, and I tense up. Uh... Yes. Don't answer. Sorry, Taylor. I sent a silent prayer to her. You did. Before I could come up with anything, Victoria just turns and crams the figurine into one of the plastic bags. W whatever. I guess I should thank you for the dorky thought anyways. Huh. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was nice. 
Hello. <laughs> now that the weight of the whole situation is gone and Victoria hasn't kicked me out, I take the chance to press my head back against the leather seat of her car. Close my eyes and resting my hands back against my stomach. I don't hear Victoria move, but that's fine. She's probably dead. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Let's, I guess we accept that she's probably dead. <laughs> All I can hear is her smoking next to me. And the radio blaring softly with another Sid Matter song. This is definitely how the album's meant to be enjoyed. Score! Now I can think, now that we know it's like the music peoples from the, the actual game. You can think of a cinematic where like it pans out from the cards and music plays. And then you get to see the stars and stuff. Which would be nice. It's oddly relaxing. Baby cakes. Everyone knew that but you. 